The reason why a user should care about the operating system is it's really the foundation for everything they're doing on their personal computer. I want something that is seamless, very easy to use, takes into account all the steps that people typically do and eliminates you know, all of them except for the one to get me to what I want. With Macintosh System 7.5, we've made it more efficient. So whether they're working in applications or the Finder, they're going to be able to get their work done faster. System 7.5 is about the user. It's about making the, the, their tasks easier. It's about making printing easier. It's about getting help easier. What I would expect new system software to do for me is to save time. Apple's strategy is to help its customers take advantage of four critical industry transitions and innovations. And System 7.5 is a great example of how we do this. Uh, first, the transition from CISC to RISC, then the transition from an application-centric way of using computers to a document-centric way, the transition from simple networking to collaboration services that enable people to work together, and finally, the transition from a passive graphical user interface to a more active assistance mode of working with computers. With System 7.5, we've made it a lot easier for customers because it's one operating system release that runs on all Macintoshes, including the new Power Macintoshes. Additionally, you'll see support from third-party applications from companies like Microsoft and WordPerfect, Claris, Aldis, Adobe, and others. Apple Guide is the first step in providing active assistance to our Macintosh users. Every time I see two people standing at a computer trying to figure out how to get something done together, what is wrong with this, I wonder? I know that I'm paying two salaries to complete that task, and I would prefer it only be one. Apple Guide is like having a coach or an expert built right into the system. It can, in an interactive way, teach you how to do something step by step. They're always like yelling across the room, how do I do this? Does anybody know the shortcut for blah, blah, blah? Or can I do this with this program? If they couldn't find the answer, they'd maybe go get the manual. They had about enough patience to last about five minutes with the manual. And then it was called okay, tech support. Network error. Applications are continually adding new features and functionality. And we see Apple Guide as a vital tool, a vital teaching tool to make those applications easy for users to understand. It can circle things on the screen using coach marks or visual cues that teach you what the next step is in the process that you're trying to accomplish. They actually are learning online and the computer is actually guiding them through step-by-step -step process to complete a task. Well in business you might want to have a custom Apple guide for your site. For instance you might want a guide that teaches your users how to use the corporate network or how to use the email system. And you can build guides that have this kind of content and teach users the tasks that are important to your computing site. Ultimately, users are happier with their system because they're getting their job done quicker and easier. Basically, we listened to our customers. We watched what they spend most of their time on and then added features that address helping them be productive with the things they do. To help them manage windows better, we added a thing called Window Shade that, when you double click on a title bar, rolls the window right up so you can see what's behind it. We also added a new capability called Cascading Menus, which, under the Apple menu, you can have hierarchical menus that pull off. Additionally, there's a new Find capability, so it's a lot faster finding files and working with files. Probably the best new feature, though, is Macintosh Drag and Drop. And that's a feature that essentially makes cutting and pasting a lot easier. If you go back to in the history of Macintosh, I mean, Macintosh really introduced the idea of cut and paste, which has been very popular and very useful. We're extending that um, cut and paste inside a document, maybe between applications and uh, possibly even between systems. User wants simpler, faster, and better. They want tools and systems that help them be more productive and more effective as they work alone and as they work in collaboration with their colleagues. Collaboration is important because that's really how we get our work done. We work with others. Um, we exchange files, we send electronic mail, etc. With System 7.5, we've made collaboration even easier because it has PowerTalk built in. And PowerTalk brings you a, a whole range of new features in terms of collaboration. For instance, it has Apple Mail built in. So every Macintosh user now has a basic mail system as part of the operating system. It also has what are called catalogs. There's a personal catalog, for instance, that's essentially a collection of business cards for the people that you work with. And to send something to one of, one of the, your colleagues, all you have to do is drag a file directly on top of their business card, and it's sent automatically. With System 7.5, Apple is pursuing a comprehensive and aggressive software development strategy. 
Actually, we want to make the Macintosh operating system relevant and available to mainstream personal computer users, and this includes users of MS-DOS or Windows operating systems. Customers live in a mixed world. I mean, clearly they have DOS machines and Macintoshes, and they must work in harmony. And if we're going to, to provide true solutions to our users, we have to make it easy for them to bring documents from DOS to Macintosh and vice versa, from Macintosh to DOS. We have many accounts that aren't Macintosh based. They give us permission to use our Macs on their projects. <laughs> In many cases, we get a disk. We don't even know if it's a Mac or a DOS disk. They don't know it's a Mac or a DOS disk. We used to try and open it up, or we'd send it down to a service bureau to try and open it up, because we didn't even know what applications it was on, just to get something printed out. Um, now, with System 7.5, we just pop the disk in. It tells us it's a PC disk, but we can actually open the documents up. WordPerfect's actually probably more popular on the DOS and Windows platform than on the Macintosh. Of course, we're doing everything possible to change that. Clearly, in large enterprise, as well as small, medium-sized businesses, moving documents between PC and Macintosh is, is very important to us. Now we know that when we get a disk, it doesn't matter what type of disk it is, it doesn't matter who it's from, we can pop it in, we can boot it up, and we can use those files from the get-go. Each person here would probably like to have their own printer. Um, and they'd probably like to have two printers. <laughs> Everybody's on deadlines, so the quicker they can get to the printer, the quicker their project gets to the customer. Uh, one of the most exciting new things in 7.5 is QuickDraw GX, and it's a new printing and graphics architecture. And basically what it does is make, it makes printing a lot more elegant and easy to use on the Macintosh. It replaces the old print monitor software, and it uses a new metaphor called desktop printer icons. And the way a desktop printer icon works is you can double click on it and then see all the print jobs that are printing to that particular printer. So if that printer is busy, you can grab a print job and drag it to a different printer or drag it to the trash to cancel. Let's say the, the priority for a particular job that's printing has changed and I can reorder um, the jobs that are in there. I can also take one off out of the print queue totally if, for instance, a client calls and says, oh, I have one more change. One of the things you get in, an, in the new QuickDraw GX printing dialogues is the ability to switch between your different printers on the fly. So instead of having to go through an eight or nine step process through the chooser, you get a pop-up list. And one of those printers is called a PDD maker, or Portable Digital Document Maker. And what portable documents are, are files that can be previewed and printed on any other Macintosh without having to have the same application or the same fonts. They don't have the right app, they have to call us. <laughs> So they're frustrated, they can't open it, um, and then we have to um, open it up in another application that they do have and send it back to them. We lose a little time that way. You remember that window that used to say, um, I'm sorry, I can't open this because you don't have that application? Well, that goes away with portable documents. When their customer goes to the print dialog under QuickDraw GX, they'll be presented with new options never before available. For example, being able to choose landscape or portrait in the same document. This is something our customers have been requesting for some time. One company named Pierce Software created a product called Pierce Print Tools that's a collection of these GX printing extensions. If you put it in your system folder, you can do things like add fancy watermarks to the background of your page, the word confidential or draft in gray, add borders, cover pages, so you as a user can customize the printing process on your Macintosh. PowerBook users also get to work more efficiently when they run System 7.5. There's the ability to turn Apple Talk on and off very quickly or to sleep your machine very quickly. And there's also the ability to do file synchronization. System 7.5 just makes that PowerBook a lot easier to use. Uh, it has a new control strip that allows me to monitor my battery life much um, better. It also synchronizes files automatically when I hook it up to my either my home desktop computer or my computer here at work. What file synchronization does is it makes sure that you're always working on the most current version of your document. Apple products and technologies are designed to both fit in in our customers' infrastructure, legacy systems, so that customers don't have to throw away data that they have, they can carry everything with them. But on the other side, our products do stand out in such a way that customers can achieve unique benefits in terms of gaining productivity, gaining efficiency. We're going to take this strategy worldwide to our global customers. Apple's always been the leader in the marketplace in terms of providing ease of use and empowering customers. And System 7.5 extends our lead. And ultimately what that means is 
Macintosh customers are more productive. I think System 7.5 really is about streamlining. I think it's about making user tasks easier. Ultimately what it does for us is it saves us a lot of time.